Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the spool and side plate bearings on the new Daiwa T3. Um, by upgrading the bearings to a uh, nicer ABEX 7 ceramic bearings, you're going to get a better and more consistent cast, a smoother cast which gives you back, uh, less backlashes and an uh, easier spool startup so you can actually cast lighter baits. Now what we're going to need, we're going to need the reel, we're going to need the set of bearings. You can get your bearings from www.bokabearings.com This is the set that you need to order, it's the model number Or you can just go to their model selector and select a uh, fishing reel Go to Daiwa and then just select the T3 We're also going to need a fishing hook A small jeweler screwdriver And a spool pin removal tool. Um, this one that I use it's made by Boca Bearings. Uh, it's actually very easy to use. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on their website yet, but if you have any questions about these pliers, um, I'm sure you, uh, you can shoot them an email and they'll get back to you and let you know how to get a pair of these. And of course, you're going to need some bearing oil. Um, this is the one that I like to use. It's the Boca Lightning Lube High Speed Oil. Specially formulated for uh, both stainless steel and ceramic bearings, but it has a low viscosity, so it allows the bearings to spin at very high speeds. It's very good for real, um, spool bearing applications. So before we install the bearings, uh, we're going to prep them. The bearings that you get from Boca, you can actually run them dry if you want, but the bearings are going to be very loud. I personally, I like to put some oil in them so that uh, it, they quiet down a bit. So we take the bearings out from their packaging and you're going to see that there are some orange seals on them. You can remove those orange seals by using a fishing hook. Just put it on the inner diameter of it, of the seal, push the hook in and it's going to pop right out. Just like that. Now, I like to run my bearings with, without the seals because I fish from a boat. Um, it's easier to maintain and I don't have to, uh, I, I, it's easier for me to put um, oil in them. But if you fish in rivers or places with a lot of sediments where, or in salt water, uh, just take one side of the seal off and then uh, put oil in it and then you can just put, uh, in, reinstall the seal by popping them back in. Now that you have the seals off, take the bearing oil and put a drop in each of them. Now, now that the bearings are prepped, we're going to put them aside and start, uh, go with the reel. Um, I suggest you to take a piece of electric tape to tape the line on your spool if you have a uh, line spool on it. Otherwise, um, we can start moving it. There's a button on the side, press on it, push the side plate down and you remove it. Uh, very often, the spool is going to come right off of it. We put the rest of the reel away. You're going to see two bearings. One on the side of the, on the spool, and the other one is on the side plate. We're going to work, uh, I'll work on the one on the side plate first. You're going to see that there's a bearing retainer on it. We're going to remove that retainer first. Uh, word of caution, put your finger over it. It will fly, and it will fly very far. Remove it just like that, put it aside, take the bearing out. Uh, you can use uh, something like a wire with a slight bend at the end, something like this. It's going to make it easier to take the bearing out. Put the new one back in, and then just reinstall the retainer and you're done. That's it. So this one's done. We're going to move on to the next one. This is the spool bearing. Now we're going to use, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the Boca um, spool pin pliers. This, we use this for removal on diver reels. We fit this over the groove, the spool pin over here, and we use this part on the top to push the pin out. So this is how we do it. You put it in, you line it up, just like that and then just press down on it
just be careful because the pin will fly fly off if you put a lot of pressure on it. So you have to see the pin actually came out like that. Next thing, just reinstall the bearing. Put the pin in. Okay, after you have the pin in, you're going to see that there's two slots on the pliers. We're going to use the slot to put, uh, to install the pin in there. So we're going to align the pin with the smaller slot here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here. The slot goes with the pin, and then the other side lines up with the opening. And then just squeeze it. and the pin should come out on the other side. Now now that part of the pin is in, we're going to use this part to realign the, uh, the pin. Just make sure that the pin is coming out on the side of the groove so nothing is blocking it. Perfect. Now you see that the pin is installed back in. And next thing we're going to do is just to reinstall everything. Put the spool back in, bearing side in and put the side plate back on ensure that it's spinning should be working great now so thank you very much for watching the video I hope it helps you have a good day bye bye